the cheapest coins on the web, go and check out igsky.com. Their link will be down in the description and use code CAPGUN for a discount at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 61 of Building Buyer. Now we're going to kick this episode off by going into our trade pile. As you can see we've sold pretty much everything except one card and that one card is an informed class and once he sells we'll be sitting on about 200k which is not bad going. You know we've made about 16-17k profit in one trading session from the last episode so I'm very happy with that. Now in the last episode we won the Footmas Cup. We got a 35k free pack which had a free pack inside it so we're going to open the free pack pack now and we managed to get Lavezzi which is a really really nice free pack and the best thing is it's not an untradeable pack we can actually sell stuff in this pack so we are going to be selling on Lavezzi for about 2,000 coins which isn't too bad at all I'm pretty happy about that considering we could have had nothing at all we've got loads of contracts and stuff in there as well which we can use now we did win the Footmas Cup in the last episode and today we're going to try and win the New Year's Cup it is 2014 or not 2014 anymore it's 2015 happy New Year to you all this is my first video of 2015 and I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, smash that like button. Let's see if we can break that 2,000 like barrier as always. Now our opponent is using a 4-3-2-1 Bundesliga team. Very dangerous in the first round of the cup. You don't expect to see this in the first round of the cup anyway. He does have an informed Shakiri and informed Bonaccia. He has the inform or Bamiyang. You know, he's got inform Kagawa in there. And uh, we managed to get in the lead. I was like, yeah, buddy. There's Muller just coming in from that right-sided position and coming inside, going between the two defenders. And a uh, lovely ball from Lewandowski assists him there in getting the goal. Now, we have another chance here. And as you can see, we just confound his defence with Lewandowski. Turning back inside, easy goal for him at the end of the day there. Somehow, we get beaten from range. How Neuer... Is beaten there. I don't know. He hits that basically on the turn with his left foot and it just sails into the top left hand corner. I was like, what on earth? Let's not let him get back into the game. You can see here, I get the ball. We do the dancing with the two trigger buttons with uh, Gertz there. He puts Lewandowski through and Lewandowski eats that one up and makes it 3 1. We walk away 3 1 victors in what was actually quite a tight game. Our opponent was very good and uh, not the sort of opponent you actually expect to find in the first round of a cup, for sure. Anyway, we're going to go back out, we're going to go and check the stats of our players, you can see Shakiri's still up there, 114 goals, but Muller is closing in, he's got 107, he's only 7 goals behind him, how long will it take him to catch him? I don't know, we'll have to see, it, will, it does seem that he will eventually catch him, because he does take the penalties, which of course gives him a little bit of an edge, but... You know, you're always going to take your penalties with your best penalty taker. Now, we're going to dive into the second round of the cup. We come up against a 4-3-3 team. You can see he's actually playing Magidi at striker. I don't know why he's doing that, but he does have Morales in there. He has Schürrle. He has Gicciras. He has the likes of Mangala, De Gea in net. So, it's a pretty standard uh, BPL team. Pretty strong, but it's not your super elite. It doesn't have, like, Sturridge and stuff in it. And uh, we managed to take the lead in the 43rd minute with Lewandowski again putting him in between the two defenders and he does that sliding shot which is we all know is really ridiculously overpowered it somehow goes into the back of the net and then we actually get a second goal through Shakiri. it was Lewandowski's good work that actually gave us the chance to score and uh, Shakiri was just in the right place at the right time for the rebound now he conceded a pretty sloppy goal really bad defending from me but you can see Look at this. That short corner. We got one in the last episode. We got one in this episode as well. It is very, very powerful and I highly recommend you try it out if you haven't already. And not only that, but we almost scored again with it. We went 3-2 uh, at this point because our opponent scored one. But um, you see there, we didn't actually manage to quite score it. But again, ball comes out to that wide position. You don't see many headers in FIFA 15. So to score two in a game was pretty rare and it was Muller that managed to get both of them. Then... Lewandowski bangs that in, makes it 5-2, game's over, and we walk away a very nice victor. And as you can see, the DNF is actually going up at the moment, which doesn't usually happen. If you play online seasons, it gets capped at like 0.63. But I've been playing in the cup, and it's actually gone up a lot. So hopefully, we can get it all the way up to like, I think it's like 1.25 you can max out at, and uh, it will stay there. You know, it won't go down. Hopefully, it won't get disconnected or anything from any games. Now, our uh, next opponent in the cup, unbelievable, semi-finals. And he's got this team. He's only got 84 game. He does have Dumbia in there, so you have to be a little bit careful. But overall, it's not a very strong squad. And uh, what a starting goal. Again, Lewandowski in the right place at the right time. Goetze plays him through and a really nice finish from him. Then, we try and get in with uh, Schweinsteiger. I don't know really where I was going. I think I made a mistake there. Ended up getting a penalty for it, which was fantastic. And here's Muller. He steps up. And he hammers that one in to make it 2-0. And uh, yeah, the game was pretty much over at this point. Or at least I thought it was just before halftime. And I definitely thought it was over when we went through and scored again with Goetze just after halftime. But our opponent made a really good comeback. Mainly because Neuer is a complete idiot. I mean, what on earth is he doing? He comes for the ball. He has it basically in his hands. Or he can basically just go down and get it. 
And he just runs away from it and lets him score. And then he gets right back into the game because he makes it 3-2. But fortunately, I hung on. And I don't have to be too angry at Neuer. Because, you know, if we had ended up drawing or losing that game, I would have been absolutely livid. Because, you know, there's no reason to concede there. It let us or let our opponent completely back into the game. Now, we've gone and done some trading. Lovetsy sold. We saw it spent every single coin we've had. We've got four coins left. And um, we've picked up loads and loads of stuff. As you can see, we've got Van Damme here for 1,100, listing for 1,600. We've got Congolo, picked up 28. 800 listing for 3400 a gray that we picked up for 10500 listing for 12k jerome we picked up for 1400 we've actually got two of him we picked him up for 1400 listing for 1700 um, matthias fernandez we picked up 36k listing for roughly 40k schmenger or schmanger however you say his name uh, about 2500 listing for 3100 basong as well for 1300 listing for 1800 you know we're just making tons of profit on some of these players it's just crazy the amount i'm investing to the amount i'm getting as a return is very very good i mean if i'm spending a thousand coins and getting 1900 back every time you know I'm going to double my coins in one trading session I know every single player isn't like that um, but um, there are a lot of players in there that you know are sort of yielding that return the biggest player that we bought was Cali Horn with a hunter cunt a uh, a hunter card on it and um, we bought him for 49k i think and we listed up for 55 we got another class and we picked up for 15,750 listing for i think it's like 18k so fingers crossed everything will sell and we will make a bundle of profit now we're going to dive into our final game and as we know this is the cup final so it's very important we win there is a big pack on the line it's a non-tradable pack but again if we manage to pull a Bayern Munich player like Ribery like Neuer like Lewandowski one of those expensive players then we can replace them in the squad and we can sell the one that we've already got which of course means that we're going to be a lot richer and uh, will definitely mean that we'll be able to make a signing in the next couple of episodes so fingers crossed that's going to happen and we managed to really patiently build up to that goal Schweinsteiger grabs it on the edge of the box smashes it in with his left foot and I was like thank you Schweinsteiger because unbelievably in the final there were no more goals that was it Bastian Schweinsteiger managed to score the winning goal and take down the cup the bonus everything that went with it you know very very happy and we're going to be able to go back into the arena open that pack Neuer I wish you weren't there celebrating man you should be on the bench or something give me a give me a good Bayern Munich keeper what is wrong with the Bayern Munich keepers man they're just so so stupid they're just making all these mistakes for me it's just crazy anyway the pack we managed to get Lamella in there, we get Garay, we get Ruta. It really wasn't all that good a pack, you know, I felt kind of cheated at the end of it. I was like, oh man, can't quick sell any of it, you know, can't sell any of it. We have got some squad fitness and uh, some, you know, shiny gold contracts as well, which of course will help us out. But, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't really worth the time and effort we put into winning the tournament. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 2,000 videos or 2,000 likes on the first video of 2015. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time.